What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to get into some gaming on the LG G6. Is it any good? Should you buy this phone if you're a heavy duty phone gamer? And will it keep up with some of the top titles? Let's get right into it here and see what I got going on on this LG G6. This is the Canadian version H873. So it is not a dual SIM model. It is not a 64 gigabyte model. It's pretty well the same model that we're getting in the Canada and the US. So it's there's not really much of a difference. So we'll hop right into games here. So it looks like I've got SimCity, Asphalt Extreme, Gigabit Off-Road, Need for Speed Most Wanted, GTA San Andreas, True Skate, and Bully. So we'll go into True Skate first. If you notice, it's a little stuttery when it first starts out there, but uh, it works pretty well. So, you know, playing behind the camera is kind of hard always, but you guys get the gist. It's, uh, it's fairly smooth, but it's also a fairly simple game. So, I mean, there's really not too much going on here. So we'll go back out here and find another one. If you notice that one used is the entire 18 by nine display. So we'll go into Asphalt Extreme. Check this one out. So I, I showcased this in my full in depth review and it always seems to run this game very well. So, I mean, I've been playing it pretty hardcore on here, but we'll go through and do a quick race so I got almost all these races completed. And sure, we'll just take whatever car it's got picked for me here. All right. uh, let's do the rally car. So, I mean, it seems to play very well. I've always gotten pretty good frame rates with it. I was using an FPS counter at one point and it stayed around 4950 FPS for this game, which is pretty stellar, but I mean, what can you expect? It's a it's a high-end flagship. In Canada, they're wanting almost $1000 for these things. $1035 after tax, which is ridiculous, but that's what we got to pay, right? It's it's the uh exchange rates and whatnot so so yeah it plays really good on this phone and not too much problems here so we'll X out of that and move on to the next one so far gaming performance is pretty pretty on point now if you notice I'm leaving I'll leave this game going in the background and we'll head on to the next one this one, Bully, was on PlayStation 2 for the longest time. It actually came out on the PlayStation 2. And now we're seeing it on Android, which is pretty awesome. And you're basically a young kid in prep school or something like that. And uh, you gotta, you know, convince the teachers and whatnot that you're a good student while you at the same time you got to ward off all the bullies so it's actually kind of an interesting storyline and it seems to run pretty well on this device the device does get a little bit hot when it's playing though so that's one thing to keep in mind but i mean it's a full 3d application so i see this guy's chasing me because i'm late to class you know, just kind of a fun little game. It's made by Rockstar, the the people who brought us the Grand Theft Auto series. So you see that there's a little bit of a frame rate drop there. But uh, oh, you got me. Ha! <laughs> Boom! Run, 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 dude, run! Why are you squatting? What? what? So yeah, it's kind of hard to play behind the, the camera, but you get the point. It's 
it's really good graphics and the, the device is getting a little warm but it doesn't usually get too hot playing this game so overall the performance of this is pretty on par with flagships of last year so it's not really up to snuff for a 2017 flagship like i tried playing modern combat 5 on this and it was pretty stuttery pretty you know it wasn't exactly the best but so if you notice here on this loading screen everything stretched out a little bit for the 18 by 9 aspect ratio so that is something to note but in the actual game it's not stretched out nothing stretched out it, it actually fits the display fairly well so we'll do a quick game here this is a pretty pretty graphics intensive game so we'll see how it performs and I just I do these game performance videos for the people who want to know which phone is going to perform the best when they're playing their favorite titles so far I'm more impressed with the S7 Edge than I am with this. I'll be getting the S8 soon, so when I get that, I'll do some more. I'll do uh, benchmarks and game titles and whatnot for that. But I mean, overall, this plays really well. This is a pretty heavy-duty, graphics-intensive game, so it's it keeps up pretty good. Anyways, so this has been gaming on the LG G6, but we're going to do one more thing here, is we're going to go into, I believe, there it is, CPU Z, and we're going to look at our thermals. So... So we're looking at not too bad really, it looks like the highest one is 34.6. So it doesn't really get overly hot playing these intensive games. Now I don't really have a heat gun or anything to check this out for sure, but this is just what the sensors are telling me. So and it's not like the battery is getting very warm, it's 28.2 degrees Celsius. So. It's a, it's a good performing phone for gaming, and I kept all these games open in the background, so it was performing very well. And uh, yeah, so this is a decent phone for gaming. It's not really up to par for 2017 flagships, but it'll do. So thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.